I have fond memories of playing Pro Evo when I was younger. I used to play FIFA 2, but I always felt the Pro Evo series gave me something more. It wasn't until Pro Evo 3 on the PS2 that my friends were finally converted. They saw what I had been telling them for years. The best football sim was Pro Evolution Soccer. This trend continued for a few years, but then Pro Evo lost its way and FIFA reclaimed its throne once more. This year is when Pro Evo truly comes back from the dead. This is easily the best Pro Evo game to date, and quite possibly the best football game ever. PES 2016 is all about playing football. The game modes are great and the whole game performs to a high standard, but it's on the pitch where PES 2016 shines. I find it difficult to describe why the gameplay is so good, but it just feels right. There are no complex button combos needed on the pitch to beat players, rather timing and instinct will be the combinations you require. Players will jostle and skip over challenges and this will be dependent on your quick movement and player stats. Passing is fluid and players control the ball like the trained professionals that they are. Teammates make exciting runs, defenders track opposing strikers, defending is fun and you will see players clash with full force both on the floor and in the air. When all of these factors merge, the results are staggering. PES 2016 asks you to be a patient player and maintain possession, but every touch is ultimately leading to that well-deserved goal-scoring opportunity. You can take even more control of your game with one of the shoulder buttons to unleash manual passes or manual shots. Sometimes you'll see an opportunity to tear open the defence with a perfectly weighted through ball, and you can achieve this with this skill. PES 2016 rewards you for being creative and courageous, and that's the way it should be. Player stats will have a huge impact on the game too. You will recognise players on the pitch not just from the great graphics, but from their behaviour. You'll see Yaya Torre steam through the defence with a powerful run, or Vince and company dominating the back line with his strong presence. It is quite a feat to be able to recognise a player from the way they play as opposed to how they look. My only complaint about the actual football is the shooting. Long range shots feel powerful and speedy, however the small, finesse finishes in the box feel weak. A tap of the shoot button will usually always result in a goal. It feels like a disappointing payoff after a great build up play, but it's a small blip which you will soon adjust to. Simply put, on the pitch where it matters, PES 2016 rules supreme. FIFA is renowned for its licenses, and the Pro Evolution series has always struggled here. The Champions League and Europa League are fully licensed, but you never know what teams will be included in PES. Thankfully the players are all there, but it is annoying to see my favourite team, Southampton, called Hampshire Red. Worse yet is seeing the kits look nothing like their real life counterparts. Thankfully, if you have the time, you can use the edit mode to adjust the team names and even create custom kits for them all. On the PS4, you are able to download custom files from the internet which will include teams, kits and even badges. Unfortunately, this feature is not available on Xbox One, but hopefully it may be in the future. PES 2016 has also upped its game with game modes. The classic Master League mode returns better than ever, and my club is the equivalent of FIFA's Ultimate Team mode. Although similar, the modes in PES 2016 do have their own twist, and I think they are the better versions of them. Master League has a big focus on player improvement and developing your squad. The menus are slick and fast, you have coaches and their input is genuinely useful. They'll inform you of player progression and new abilities they may have learned. Transfers are also assigned to staff. You tell them what player you want and they will attempt to get the best deal for them, which you can push further if you want to risk it. My club is the online portion of the game. As you play PES 2016, you will amass GP points which can be redeemed here. You can spend these points on attempting to acquire the best players in the world. Every match you play, online or off, will reward you with more GP and a chance to get a new player for your team. Where I think this mode excels over FIFA's Ultimate Team is that your players will actually gain experience and improve. You build a rapport with your team, which means you are not so quick to trade them out for new players. Finally, I must tell you just how good PES 2016 looks. The game runs at 60 frames per second, which I love. The game is actually running on the Fox engine which powers the Metal Gear Solid series. The high frame rate makes the whole game run smoother than I've ever seen a football game run. The replays in particular look like a dramatic Hollywood movie in slow motion and it's great. I hate to compare PES to FIFA but everyone is going to anyway. 
That being said, PES 2016 is an incredible game in its own right. It has everything its competitive sibling has and in my opinion, it does most of them better. If you really love football, then you need to try PES 2016 this year. The improvements the series has made over the last couple of years is staggering and I am so excited to see where this series will go next. I give PES 2016 9 out of 10.